It's Friday the 23rd today and every year I love to do a pre-Christmas blitz of the house. I've been cleaning all day, it's now 3.30 as I edit this. I've done three loads of washing and cleaned almost every room in the house. There is nothing worse, I think, than having to think about cleaning on Christmas Eve or even worse, Christmas Day. So I got up when Ottilie first woke up at about 6.30 and put the first load of washing in. I emptied our bathroom bin, sorted out her bottles and did some general tidying up. Then I stripped the bedding and hung out the first load of washing. I then put the new bedding back on, which was actually new too. I'll tell you about that later. Then I cleaned our ensuite. I cleaned the whole thing in the mirrors, even the shower, bath, um, not bath, sorry, toilet and sink. And also some of the walls because Tom's hairspray gets all over the walls, I don't know how. And then dust gets stuck to it, which is not ideal. Then you'll see in a minute that I accidentally spilt coffee all over Ottilie's floor uh, when I was bending down. I was holding the coffee cup under my arm. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so I just used carpet cleaner on that. Then I just tidied and dusted the nursery. I also finally got round to taking out the newborn clothes from Ottie's dresser and I just put them in the wardrobe to sort out later. I've also, as you can see there, relabeled everything so it's all nice and neat and ready for some more three to six month outfits when she gets those. There are some in her wardrobe actually that probably need to go in there. After sorting out her clothes, I then made the kids' beds and hung out the second load of washing in their room, uh, the backup <laughs> laundry space. I then put the next load of washing on and I dusted the landing console table. Ottilie then woke up so I fed her and we had a little break and I then carried on dusting the sitting room whilst she watched CBeebies and then I hoovered in there. I cleaned the kitchen cabinet surfaces and the cooker hood filters um, which I washed to get all the grease off them because they get quite gross. Um, I also hoovered out the drawers in the kitchen because sometimes they get bits in them and then I just hoovered the kitchen and the dining room and the rest of it. The oven really badly needed cleaning so I wanted to do that before cooking a roast on Christmas day. I just used normal like oven cleaner and then I scrubbed the racks. Then I moved on to hoovering the stairs and all the rooms upstairs, including the bathrooms. After the oven cleaner had been in for 30 minutes, I finished cleaning the inside of that and then I put the dry racks back in. I also washed out all of the utensils and the pot that were on the side because some of them were quite dusty, so I wanted to just do all of them. Hey, Otty, we've nearly finished the cleaning. Right, how do we do this? Do you remember, baby? Oh my goodness. Oh, I like that. Woo! That wasn't too tricky, was it? What do you think? They still feel a bit greasy. That's not good. I did wash them. I washed them, maybe I should put them in the dishwasher next time. Oh well. They look a bit better. Right, where's that? That very wet manky tea towel. Actually, it's not manky, it's not dirty, is it? It's just wet. But it's one of our old ones that we use for things like this. If you have horrible tea towels, they're great for keeping for dirty jobs, like wiping the oven and stuff once you've cleaned it. Hey, there we go, that's much better, isn't it, little one? Hey, much better. We're almost finished. And we are done, hurrah. And I've got a very sleepy baby here. Have I just woken you up, sweetie? Oh, I feel so good. It feels so nice to get the whole house totally clean. Oh, it's just this room, the office and the boot room that I didn't do. Um, to be fair, I actually hoovered slash tidied. <laughs> A bit in here a couple of days ago but we are actually finishing yay the cabinet doors for this tonight well over tonight and tomorrow so I that's another reason I wanted to get the house completely clean today because I don't like doing any cleaning on Christmas Eve anyway but particularly not this time because Tom and I are both going to be trying to get the cabinet finished so the, the doors are undercoated <laughs> Hurrah. Anyway, enough about the office cabinet. That will be in the office vlog. But so what I said that I will tell you later when I was talking about the new bedding was, I just didn't have time to say it. It's quite tricky doing a voiceover, you know. <laughs> 
Anyway. We have had the same bedding, the same two sets, for absolutely ages. The, in fact, both sets I had before I was with Tom. Super King bed sheets, bedding, are really expensive, like really, really expensive. Anyway, so I always try to get them from like TK Maxx or HomeSense because they're so much cheaper. And I have been meaning to get new bedding for such a long time. But every time I go into HomeSense or TK Maxx, they never have any in Super King. And the ones that I found online, some of them are just so nice, but they're just so expensive. And every time I've thought about it, I can just, I could just never justify spending 200 or whatever it's gonna be. Cause I really wanted linen bed, linen, actual linen, but it's, yeah, it's just very expensive. Anyway, enough rambling. When we were in TK Maxx or HomeSense, whichever one it was, the other day, I happened just to walk through the bedding lane and I saw that they actually had Super King in for once and they had this plain white one with just like a tiny little white frill and it was so pretty for the, ready, bargain price of £34.99, hurrah. So that was it, I just got it. Anyway, usually when I buy new things, I would wash them first, but that bedding was in its own like fabric case um, and so it wasn't dirty and like people hadn't touched it. So I didn't wash it and it didn't smell funny either. And also, let's let's be real right now, cost of living crisis, don't wanna be doing extra washes for no reason. And also it wouldn't have fit in with my bedding that I took off this morning. So yeah, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna put it on. It probably needs ironing, but I don't have time to iron bedding. I don't know about you, I do not have time. So yeah, so that was what I was going to tell you, but I couldn't tell you in the voiceover. So yeah, that is my little TK Maxx bargain. Thank you very much, or HomeSense, whichever one. It's yeah, it's just such a nice feeling because once you get everything done, it just means that you don't have that hanging over you. And if you really do a proper clean like I've done today, you won't really have to do, hopefully, much cleaning over the kind of Christmas break. So that will be quite nice. Now I, always use a cleaning checklist. I didn't actually show you on this because I was just filming what I was actually doing. Um, but I have a deep clean checklist that I always use. And you can actually buy these from my website. They're like 3.97, they're really, really good value. So you can download those and there's different, there's lots of different types of checklists as well. And there's even an ultimate organization bundle, which is great. It has seven different PDFs involved. So it's all everything that's gonna help you get organized in your home. So I will tell you what's in there. So you get your weekly meal planners. There's different designs as well. Weekly shopping lists, kitchen inventories, which are so good if you want to stay on top of your food. And if you know, like if you waste a lot of food or even if you waste a bit of food, it will really help prevent that. It's it's so good, especially also for people that have ADHD that like find it hard to kind of keep on top of what's in the fridge and things like that. But also if your cupboards aren't super organized, obviously it'd be great to get them organized as well. But if you have an inventory of everything that's in there, you don't then have to go rooting through your cupboards to try and find things, you know what you've got. And so it just makes it so much easier for when you go food shopping. So they're in there as well. And then you also get a household bills tracker, which is great for budgeting. You get the deep clean checklist, which I've just shown you there, which is so good. Especially if you're like me, you feel more accomplished if you have something to tick off. I just love that. And then you get a password log and a habit tracker as well. And habit trackers are gonna come in handy in January if you've got any New Year's resolutions. But yeah, so there's all different things on my website. Have a look. Um, literally everything is under 15 pounds and it, there's only one thing that's 15.97 which is that because it's loads of the pdfs together but everything else is around three three pounds four pounds and yeah i just hope that you have a hello a lovely christmas oh it's gonna be so nice i'm so excited to have our first christmas with little ottilie who has crazy hair look at your hair she was three months old yesterday <sighs> weren't you baby three months old and she's so big now oh my goodness also i've just realized i still haven't put my um birth talk video live on youtube i'm still not sure whether i should actually i don't know if it's a bit too personal 
I just kind of want to share it because I really, like I'm a real advocate now for home births and yeah, I just feel like, I feel like people are quite intrigued. Obviously it used to be what everyone did and then everything got really medicalized and um, yeah, God, I'm going on so many tangents today. I'm sorry, if you were just here for the cleaning, you've got way more information. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, we hope you have a lovely Christmas and yeah, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to ask me anything. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want more home organization, decluttering, cleaning, sustainability, and yeah, just general life organization videos. And of course, some more baby spam. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and I hope that you like this video. If you do, definitely give it a thumbs up or a heart or both. That would be great. And yeah, we will see you next time. Bye.